Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're going to go a little retro here with a really interesting book, Elizabeth George Spears' The Witch of Blackbird Pond, which was originally published in 1958. Uh, Elizabeth George Spear was an accomplished novelist. She was born in 1908 and she passed away in 1994. Um, this, this book is uh, an award-winning book for young readers. And it's about Kit Tyler, a young, a young girl named Kit Tyler who lives with her, her uncle in Barbados. And when her uncle dies, she travels to Wethersfield, Connecticut in April of 1687. So it's a historical book, and she be lives with her other her other aunt and uncle who are Puritans, and so she begins to struggle to acclimate herself to the Puritan lifestyle. When she was in Barbados with her other family members, who had passed away, she she was living with a, a group of wealthy people. In Wethersfield, Connecticut, in 1687, she has to pretty much fend for herself. And it's almost hand-to-mouth living, you know, in the communities there, uh, in the colonies. Um, so her trials and tribulations put her at odds with the dour and often unfriendly Puritan community. She swiftly <laughs> becomes uh, the attention, uh, comes to the attention of several young men, but she finds herself unprepared for romance. She's a, just a young girl. However, she soon develops a friendship with a Quaker family and who are at odds with the Puritans. And I'm not going to go into too much of the plot details here because I don't really like to do that. But she is uh, soon accused of witchcraft. Um, and that, of course, lends itself to uh, the last half of the book is really quite dramatic, uh, but not unsatisfactory. Uh, it's really a wonderfully written book. It's a great book for young readers, and hence, that's why it's an award winner. Uh, it deserves to be. Um, the book is still in print. This is the current edition, by the way, that I just picked up. So if you're interested in finding a book for young readers, the story of the young girl, Kit Tyler, uh, in, the, uh, in the colonies, back in the day, uh, in, who finds herself sadly being accused of witchcraft. But the book is not unsatisfactory, and I really think that young readers, girls and boys alike, will really enjoy this book because it's so beautifully written. And it's a great adventure novel, too, for young readers. So if you get a chance and you're looking for something to add to the family library, especially for young readers, The Witch of Blackbird Pond by Elizabeth George Spear uh, should be at the top of your list. Thanks for checking in. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, read a book.